Los Angeles is a city where stars are born, and with breakthrough wins at Binder and Flanders this year, none shine brighter than Orange County native Corin Rivera. I started riding when I was nine years old. Um, my dad was always into any kind of sport in general, usually on, on wheels. And uh, yeah, he had a tandem with my mom. And uh, finally, when I was big enough, I kind of got thrown on the back. And then one of my dad's friends uh, asked me if I wanted to do uh, a little kids race out by uh, Redlands Classics. And it was one lap of the crit course and took off at the gun and just gapped everyone and won. And I totally loved it. Did that race for the next year and same thing, won it and totally fell in love but I couldn't wait every year for that one race. So from there, I got a racing license, got junior years, and then the rest is kind of history. Here I am now, racing pro for Team Sunweb. I'm gaining more uh, experience in Europe now that I'm on a European team. It's definitely a big culture shock, especially at first, and, and if, you, if you haven't done it before or had a little taste of it, you don't really know what you're getting yourself into. So I think that's um, a decision that kind of holds people back from, or Americans, uh, to go over to Europe. I think in Europe, um, for the racing, it's just like a lot of mental stress, actually. Like something's always going on, you know, you're, you're watching out for a crash or, um, you know, the next turn, the next climb. So there's always something going on. The roads aren't big, wide and straight like here in America. So there's, uh, your mind always has to be on and, and ready. European cycling is like doing an American crit, but for you know 120, 130, 150k. So you're, it's just so aggressive for three, four times as long as an American crit. An American just won the Ronde van Vlaanderen. That is a superb victory from the young sprinter. It was actually a little life changing. Like uh, around the team house, uh, yeah, I'll be training in, in Limburg and. A uh, local will roll up and kind of kind of scare me because I don't expect anyone to try to talk to me. And then uh, they'll say, oh, uh, you, you won Tour of Flanders? And I was like, whoa, uh, yeah, I, I did, but I just don't expect that, that kind of interaction. It's pretty cool to be the first American to win that race, absolutely. And uh, yeah, I can definitely feel that everyone's really stoked and going out on a group ride and everyone's really, really happy for me. And so happy to make them proud also. Yeah, it's all kind of been a surprise for me this year. And oh uh, yeah, I'm walking to the podium at Flanders and they're, you know, Hans is telling me, oh yeah, you also get the jersey too. And I'm like, my mind is just completely blown just from the win already. And then it just gets blown into smithereens again because I, I can't believe I'm, I'm in the, the leader's jersey also. I don't like to get pigeonholed and I don't like to be a one-trick pony. And I don't like it when people tell me I can't do something either. Um, and uh, I guess that's a little bit of fuel to the fire, but um, yeah, I like a challenge and, you know, whatever it takes to, to get across the line, you know, I'll figure it out and I'll, I'll do it. Maybe uh, I'm surprising them a little bit more, or I guess less now that I'm there a bit more often. Um, but I don't know, it doesn't change a lot for me. I just keep trying and I just keep fighting and yeah, maybe they'll drop me a little bit, but I'll keep trying to chase back on. But nothing's really changed my style. It just keep fighting and, and make the front group or make this front selection and, and um, yeah, maybe they're the one who needs something to change and not so much me. <laughs> but these prestigious wins might have never have happened for the young 24-year-old. I did crash in Tour Qatar in 2011. I had a, like a really, really major concussion. Um, was like knocked out, don't remember the next four hours. I had stitches in the back of my head. Uh, I had road rash like on my eye. That's the scar that I have from it and I, on my, across my lip. That almost, I think, took me out of the sport. And, um, and it was also at that moment when I thought, yeah, I should probably go to school, you know? Because at any moment, racing or training or whatever it could be, um, yeah, it could be gone. And so that was a little bit of a, a wake-up call for me. From there, you know, have time to think, okay, do I really actually want to do this? And then from there, it was like, yeah, I actually do. I've spent so much time away that I do like this, and I do want to go, you know, the full nine yards with it. I think I definitely have, like, a, a California state of mind, for sure. I definitely do kind of approach life pretty laid back, but uh, I don't know how you would explain it entirely, because it's just, it's just what I do. 
Uh, I feel like some maybe, maybe someone from the outside could like explain the differences with me and I don't know someone from from Holland or something. But yeah, I think I'm pretty laid back, pretty relaxed. I don't like to stress out too much about unnecessary things. I think I started racing pro when I was about 16 years old. Yeah, I've done it for a long time, but um, it's not entirely who I am. I love it for sure, um, and it's brought me a lot of opportunities in my life. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of fun things I like to do. Like I like to surf down here, or snowboard. Yeah, definitely have fun and and have fun in everything you do. Because if not, why would you be doing anything?